thank you again for joining my channel. I am really excited to do this video this evening because it's going to be different than the other videos I've posted here recently. This is going to be a get to know me video. I'm really excited about this video because it stemmed from a question that was posed to moms on the Sensible Mama Chatorama Facebook group, which I love. I love that group. It's one of my favorite mom groups because it is just so supportive and one of the missions of the Sensible Mama is to equip, inspire, and to just be supportive for moms and I love that mission and vision and goal for that group and I just love being a part of it. The moms on there are so supportive and it's just a really great community to be a part of. So like I said, this video is a little different but I'm really excited to do it. So let me hop onto my phone and get those questions. All right, I have the questions on my phone here, so here we go. The first one is, what is your age? I'm 30. Yep, I'm 30. I've watched a few of the other Get to Know Me videos, and you guys are just so much younger than me, so all of a sudden I feel really like, oh my God, I'm so old. <laughs> but no, 30 isn't that bad. It's not that bad. How many children do you have and how old are they? Okay. I only have one kid right now. My daughter will be two in two months. I have no idea where the time went. I, it's bananas. I'm just starting to come up with her birthday party and I'm just like, when did she turn two? That's crazy. That's crazy. It's, ugh, I don't know what happens to the time. Would you like to have more children? Yes. I actually would like to have one more. My husband and I have talked about it and we're hoping that maybe next year is our time. So we're really excited about that opportunity and we've both decided that we will max out at two. So this will be our last child. And it just really seems perfect to me just to have two kids. So yes, I would love to have another one. All right. If you are married for how long? Yes, I am married. Uh, my husband, he is two years older than me, and we have been married for this November for six years. Um, it's been a pretty awesome experience, and I love him to pieces, and it's been a really quite a wonderful experience. Where do you live? I live in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, as many of you know, if you are familiar with the Phoenix area, you'll know that we have a ton of suburbs from Tempe and Scottsdale, Chandler, Gilbert, Ahwatukee, Peoria, Glendale, P uh, Cave Creek, I mean, you name it. We have a ton of suburbs. So um, I'm not really going to say exactly which suburb I live in. I just want to be a little, you know, have a little bit of privacy because, you know, you don't know who's watching you on social media. So yeah, I live in the Phoenix um, metro area. Are you a stay at home mom, a work at home mom, or do you work outside of the home? I work outside of the home full time. I work for the county public health uh, department and I work in emergency preparedness, which is, um, let's be honest, never a dull moment. I love what I do. I love working. It makes me feel really empowered to be able to contribute to our household income. But on the other side, you know, I really would like to be a stay at home mom. There are days that just leaving my kid here is really difficult, um, but it, it the fact of the matter is it takes two incomes to run our household, and we've really we've talked a lot about it. We have to go to some pretty um, severe lengths to only one of us working, and it's just something we weren't prepared to do. But I am so lucky that I have my mother and my mother-in-law here to watch my daughter every single day I go to work. So. It's been really awesome to keep her out of daycare and it's not even a money issue with daycare. It's just the, you know, the ick and the germs and you, know, you just don't know what's going on in daycare these days. So I'm really, uh, really blessed and honored to be able to provide that for my daughter. All right. What are your favorite mommy product brands and why? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that one of my favorite brands is Jujubee. Without a doubt, Jujubee. You can see here that I am just beyond excited about my Jujubee collection and all of this is not even like all of it down below me I have a couple more BFFs and a be prepared in these two like buckets over here one is just full of quicks and the other one's full of sets and there's another one just full of be readies so 
I have a lot of Jujube. It's one of my favorite mom products because not only are the bags just smartly designed, I mean, let's be real, they're machine washable. Yeah, <laughs> winning. Um, they're also Teflon coated and Aegean treated, which yes, avoiding any growth of ick is always the best thing. Um, secondly, they're also designed to be extremely functional with the pockets and you know, just the functionality of them is just awesome. It's like another mom designed them with other moms in mind. And lastly, they have these amazing prints. There's literally a print for everybody between Tokidoki and Hello Kitty and the Legacy prints and now the Coastal prints. There's literally a print for everybody. And I feel there is no reason for somebody not to have Jujubee because some people may think they're a little expensive, but do you know what? For the life of your child, you're only gonna buy one diaper bag if that's what you choose to do. Um, they are such high quality bags that you know, they'll, they'll last the length of your of your mommyhood and beyond. I know plenty of moms who use their bags in, you know, well after their kids are out of the diaper bag phase as purses and overnight bags and a bunch of other reasons. They're, they're fantastic and they have an excellent resale value, so that's always good. Yeah, Jujubee is by far one of my favorite mommy brands. All right, do you have any hobbies? Well, vlogging and maintaining my YouTube channel and my Instagram are, it is definitely become my hobby. It is a lot more labor intensive than people think. People think you can just shoot a video and upload it, but there is a ton of adding enhancements and editing and uploading and refining that, you know, just filming a quick video like this could take easily two or three hours of editing and just making sure everything works well and the audio is working and it can be quite a labor, uh, laborious experience, but you know what? I love doing it. I love creating content. I love connecting with new, with new moms and it's been quite an empowering experience for me. I love sharing with you, you all. So this is my hobby and I love it. All right. Is there anything that you wish you could tell your pre mom self or your new mom self? All right. One of the things that I would tell my pre mom self, and my, my new mom self is just have more confidence in yourself and who cares what other people think about the way you choose to raise your child. You know, I really, really struggled with breastfeeding in the beginning. I, I didn't struggle because of supply issues or tongue tie or any of the other things that plague women with breastfeeding. You know, I had a perfectly fine supply and breastfeeding was not painful. I was so, so lucky. But what did plague me is I cared too much about what people thought about breastfeeding. I should have just pressed forward, not cared what they thought, and just fed my daughter the way I wanted to do it. And that's not to say I judge moms who formula feed. I formula fed for a little bit, and I felt um, you know it was the right thing for my family at the time. But I wish, in retrospect, I would have just had a spine <laughs> and said, you know what, this is how I choose to, to raise my child and how I choose to mother. And it's just the first of many decisions that you will make for how you choose to raise your children. And I, I just really wish I could have told, told my new mom self, who cares, go forth and do good. It's short term. You know, I didn't breastfeed forever. My daughter's almost two. And I just feel that, you know, I, it, it is what it is and you, you do you, right? You do you. And the last question is, what is your least favorite chore? Oh my gosh, without a doubt, laundry. Hate laundry, hate, hate, hate laundry. I hate it more than dishes. I hate it more than vacuuming. I hate it more than dusting. I hate laundry. In fact, even when I do do laundry, it'll sit in the basket for like weeks and ultimately I'll wear it and throw it back in the basket as like a new dirty set and it won't even ever make it to like a hanger or to my uh, like my chest of drawers. It's, it's pretty sad. <laughs> I'll just, you know, go fishing through a clean basket of clothes and that's what I wear to work or whatever. So that's that. I hope you learned a little bit more about me and if you have any other questions, please put them in the description below and I hope to see you again soon. And while you're here, please subscribe and like this video. I have a lot of really great content planned for you all. And if you'd like to see any of these bags in a video or how I choose to pack them, let me know in the comments and I will hop to it as soon as I can. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you next time. Bye.